Welcome to the year review with Ireland, like the Irish series. Uh, what a season uh, for Ireland. Um, obviously, just reflecting back on a series win um, in the 20 over internationals, a win here in India as well. Uh, we'll go over this match really quickly. We got them all out for 151 with Delaney 5 for 26. It was absolutely outstanding. Brought him on at a tricky time, and he turned the game. Uh, 2 for 24 for Camper, 2 for 21 for Manly were quite good as well. Sahu and Pant top scoring for them. Then the run chase was quite gundle. Burton 62 of 41, showing his summer's promise. Camper 38 not outs. Uh, great performance there. Clinical from Ireland. But yeah, just looking over some of these results, of course, that famous series win against England. 1 0 in the Test series. And of course, we picked up another 20 over international series win. Uh, series 2 saw us. Very competitive with Australia. We probably should have won that first game. We should have won that series. But it's good to see where how competitive we are. Historic uh, moment in Ireland cricket history. A 2-0 away series win to Aust uh, against Australia. And again, relatively all right in the one-day series. We haven't proved in that area. But we did manage, manage to win the 20 over international series against them as well. In fact, um, we won three series there um, in limited overs cricket, which is good. It's a good sign for Irish cricket. Uh, the player records for the season um, will go to the test matches and the current year. And the runs. Yeah, the runs see Curtis Camper top in the charts. 494 runs at 41.17. Tector 477 runs at 47.7. Burton was solid. Tech, the Tector has done a reasonable job at times. The averages have to improve a little bit, though. Doheny averages a bit down this season. Um, Commons was good. Nolan, um, even though he didn't get a real big score um, in most of his innings, 83, age, age 21. Promising signs for the future. But yeah, just a wee bit more clinical. And Little and Adir led the attack beautifully. Like, Foster was a major improver as well. Manly sort of um, didn't get too many opportunities. May see a bit more now. Just by analysing that, that... We've got four seamers that could be um, our main attack for years to come. Um, Wayne Ball, um, big talking point about Wayne Ball this season. He was a bit down on his numbers, uh, but you just got to stick with these sort of guys uh, and hope they get a little bit better. Um, yeah, we're working hard on his bowling, but yeah, a great performance from Joshua Little and Mark Adair. That's why we won so many test matches. These two were really good, and Foster was a good foil for them, and we had some reasonable support throughout. We didn't use too many bowling options, but a great year in the test matches with series wins against England and Australia who would have thought at the start of the season we we're going to do that one day internationals um we'll just go over the runs Tector by far um the leader 549 runs at 49.91 still has major trouble of converting 50s to 100s but he's still good for us Burton 366 runs at 33.27 a wee bit of improvement for him Cam for 343 runs at 42.88. He was brilliant when he was available. Delaney, 320 runs at 32. Really nice. Nolan, um, six games, 340 runs, 52.33. Four um, half centuries. Very impressed. Doheny, um, just needs to get those numbers up again. Just a wee bit low. Uh, Sterling, probably in his last year, but he goes out um, a respectful uh, career. Um, you'd have to say that those are brilliant numbers. For Ireland Cricket. Great store of the game for us. Seamus Lynch had a few opportunities. That one score of 71. Just shows he's probably up to the level. We'll get some um, opportunities um, in that limited overs team. Miguel Commons. 85 runs at 28.33. Brian was used a wee bit. Uh, the wicket takers now. So, share of the wickets. Mainly for the main three. Little, Foster and Adair. We need improvement in that area. Like, the first three bowlers acceptable. I'm happy with that. The next average is a... Not no good at whatsoever. So 17 wickets for Little, 32.94 the average per wicket. 16 wickets for Foster at average of 22, um, by far the standout of the season. And the most improved player would be Foster. Uh, Mark Adair, good um, campaign for him across all formats. Dempsey and um, Humphreys were a tried and didn't get too much. Like 20 over uh, season was a good year for us, surprisingly. So... Tector, by far the leader, 235 runs at 58.75, but the averages are in the mid to high 20s, which is a big difference. That that sort of gets you the results. And, yeah, like, 
the wicket taking um delaney six wickets five of them coming in one game but someone done something in each of the games that got us the victories more importantly and that's what i'm happy about with this irish side that is um just going to go with the international rankings and world rankings that we don't normally do so we have improved we are in 11th place in the test match rankings like if you look at our performances we haven't um had too many opportunities against some of the like Bangladesh and the West Indy in teams of recent times. Hopefully we get to play them in Zimbabwe, of course, again, just so we can sort of get some draws and serious wins there. Like, we're gradually getting there. The ODI history sees us we are improving um, in some formats, which is great. Uh, and, yeah, like, it's just important just to keep showing that we can foot it at the level. Of course, we've been... Um, Smoked by a few teams, but Australia 2 1 series away win, 1 0 against England. Um, India um, 1 1 0 as well. So we're taking the opportunities. Uh, with the world rankings now, um, we'll just quickly go over some of them. So you can see Harry Tector is 11th for us. The bowling side of things, Mark Adir is in 11th. That's our top ranked cricketer. I'm just going to show the top ranked ones at the moment, see what you guys think of just the little additional stuff. One day internationals um, for the bowlers. Ireland have to go down to Josh Little at 20th place on the world rankings, rating points of 577. The batsman is going back to here. And the one day internationals. And yeah, Curtis Camper in 19th. Is our leading one. And the next one's Harry Tector. So they're by far our best two batsmen. The 20 over internationals. Harry Tector in second place. Um, magnificent stuff. And then we're just going to scroll down a wee bit. Next person on that list is Curtis Camper in 26. Bowling. Mark Adair again um, up there in 11th. And then you got Josh Little in 19th. But yeah, uh, plenty of positives. Um, our best year by far. I'm really, really stoked for the guys, how they've been going. Uh, so yeah, it, it's a case now, sort of building on that season and sort of upwards and upwards, onwards and upwards from here. Smash the like button, share with a friend, and we'll see you next time.